Hey guys, Steve Samples here for the Hollywood Fastlane. We're on top of the Punch Towers in beautiful downtown Hollywood. And we've got a huge show tonight. We've got the actor, the writer, the director, and the musicians from the movie The Brooklyn Brothers, one of the best independent movies I've ever seen. Check it out. As I said, a huge show, guys. Ryan O'Neill and Michael Weston are with me. And Ryan, you were the um, the writer, the director, one of the actors, and one of the musicians in this amazing movie. And Michael, you were actually one of the musicians and one of the actors as well. I was against my will, brother. <laughs> against my will. But I just got to tell you guys, uh, we we've now seen the movie twice at home and once in the theater, and easily one of the best movies. I forget independent. One of the best movies I've ever seen. Oh man, thank um, you. Thank you so much, brother. Tell me about, you know, you, you wrote it, and what we're missing in Hollywood today is great stories. Where, where did the story come from? Uh, you know, what I was trying to kind of explore was that, that the relationship of, a, of an artist to a struggle, or it doesn't even necessarily have to be an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be anybody that's kind of pursuing something that creative? they... Creative? Yeah, creative, or yeah. that they really love, you know, that they feel slightly beyond them, you know, and... I saw these two sides of myself, this kind of dichotomy that it w was going on, where one side of me was like super, I don't know, like uh, terrified, you know, yeah. it was filled with fear and uh, self-critical and had open ears for the critics, and then this other side of me that was probably a little braver than I probably should should be. And, <laughs> In steps? Uh, yeah, yeah, and like a little, you know, fearless and ran into the dark and said, screw it, I'm doing it anyway, and right. I, I thought I'd, I'd break those two things, parts of myself, and, and put them into two different characters and kind of have them stuck in a car and kind of like hash out, you know, what, you know, how do you synthesize that or like right. what comes out of it? The, the movie is an amazing marriage of incredible music that's infectious with just words that are as lyrical and musical as the music itself. It, once again, it's, it's absolutely incredible. Michael, when you, when you read the script without knowing the music, did you know where it was going to go? No, man, I had no idea. I mean, one of the best things about reading a, uh, a script, and it's really rare, is one, the script that makes you like laugh out loud, but like, you know, uh, what I loved about this script was that it, 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 had, uh, it had so much heart to it, it had so much warmth, and like, and when I turned that last page, like, it left me with this like, this like sort of sizzling feeling of hope, like, I, oh, I, I yeah. mean, it's, it's a rare thing, like, you read so much crap, you know, and, and you get used to it, you just sort of, you know, and when, it, when, a, when, a, when a script comes and you actually, like, you, you, you fold the last page and you're like, ooh, okay, that's something I, I love. Um, Did it surprise you? Yeah, it surprised me, and it, and it made me, like, what, I, I, there was a, I feel like all the characters in it, like, and, and, and like, you know, like, we shot this, this, this movie got made in 18 days. I, I, my mind is blown by that, first of all. I'm telling you, man. Like, and it's, a great, once again, a great movie. It didn't feel like you left anything out or tried to save something to make it happen that quickly. No. A, a big part of that is, like, you know, it's, it, we have a, a lovely group of people that, 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 you know, work on these films together, and, and we really know each other. So there's like a, you know, it's a really like, safe, safe like place to work. So yeah, like you show up you to make work, ch take chances, and, and and push yourselves beyond your limits. And but at the same time, there's a second speak, so that mm -hmm. things move faster. And when you have so little money and you and so little time, you have to you have to be quick, and you have to be you know work as a whole, like one organism essentially. Do you guys feel that once again you've done it for well under the five million. You're mo more close to a million on this movie. Way under a million. Under a million. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Does that send a message to Hollywood that you can create something like this for that? Does that? Are you saying something by just doing that? No, I, I feel like that's you know if there's anything that's trying to be said about the from the movie is that you know these guys they they take these little baby toy instruments and they just go they just <laughs> make something you know what I mean like they, they this weird assortment of things that. That individually, like literally baby toys. The literally baby let's toys. Not, which let's makes, not beat around the dude, bush. Well, once again, I, you know, at the beginning, you start listening to them like, hey, that's kind of good. 
<laughs> no, man, I play like this like little 80s Casio that like everyone had as like a child. You guys brought your stuff, by the way. Yeah, we You're going to play a couple songs? We will play that. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, and, uh, you know, like these old, like all these like canned beats that like, you know, you press like, <laughs> like disco <laughs> beat <laughs> and then like <laughs> down Yeah, I know. I, never, I, mean, I recognize that stuff because I was a kid. So I had funny, this, you know, man. I was going like, I was thinking to myself, are they allowed to use that? I don't know. Did you have to get licensing for that? We cobbled all that up. I should because we'll now I have out. like a hard case <laughs> that I like carry on to like you know uh, like through the airport. So I saw your it's, case. I know. <laughs> and like on the outside, like you're like, oh man, that that must be a that, cool ass musician. That I am back with Ryan and Michael. Um, we're talking about the Brooklyn Brothers, this incredible independent movie you guys made. And um, you know what I hate doing almost, guys? I, 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 I don't know why I have to say independent movie. I almost don't want to say that. Because I think it frames it into something that we see independent movies as something that is darker. Uh, and this is not anything that's darker. This is warm and has a beautiful message. Um, why do we call it independent? Why am I doing that? Help me out here. Because <laughs> we made that in 18 days. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Boom. Very, very little money. Yeah. Um, no, you know, I, I think it's independent of... You know what I really love about independent film? That, that I, when I think independent film, I think you get a certain amount of subjectivity. You get one voice, like, like going through, you know... A lot of times in studio films, there there's a lot of different cooks in the kitchen, and they're and they're trying to cater to you know different demographics and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And in the independent world, a lot of times you get a chance to say like, okay, I'm just putting this thing out. This is what I want to do, and this is what I'm trying to say. And for better or for worse, you get a you get a chance to to do that. You get an individual's take on whatever that is on their life and, and yeah. you and you cut to something like more vulnerable and more yeah. it's just different in terms of in terms of the access to the actual human being like the director the like especially like a writer director because i feel like you know an independent film writer director like you you actually get to you get to see the the evolution of that whole being that whole the, the whole thought process behind that script you know, to its like until it's like actualized, and then you have this like incredible collaborative effort that like you know you're like shot out of a cannon. You have 18 days. You drop yeah. these peeps down in yeah. Maryland, and you say go, <laughs> and everyone has to check their egos at the door, and you have to go to work. And and the thing that's a, that's wonderful is it's very revealing. Like you get the authentic. You know, you know, like Jason Ritter and Wilmer Valderrama and Christopher yes. McDonald and Melissa yeah, Leo right. and yes, all yes. these people who just jump in there, like you know, just and bring and their A game to the and table. And McCarthy, you know? like all these yeah. like amazing actors, and you see the sides of all these people that are there, like you know, unhinged. They have their they're there to do their work, and they're, they're not at doing a safe it because they want. They're not nah. doing it because they want another swimming pool. Nothing else. There's yeah. There's no. There's yeah, no they, dough yeah, involved. Do, it's exactly. there. You're they're there for passion. They, you know? that, yeah, they're passionate about it, and they. And they they have something to say, and maybe something in it speaks to something that yeah. you know. And they're that, willing to that, take a part risk of a story, exactly. On stuff like, that's and a it's huge a safe environment because you're like you're there to collaborate. Like, that's the reason you're there. You want to make your 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 uh, the emphasis of the project is, is is on the project. It's off of yourself. It's, you know. Do Do you think the pure reason for making a film like this translates to the movie itself, to the to the performances that come about because of it? Because you're not doing it for the money, you're doing it for the purity of the art. I mean, without a art. doubt, like, I didn't know Ryan before this, like, at all, really. I mean, I really didn't. And, like, you know, I feel like, you know, he's one of my best friends in the world. And, like, it, it happened man. I just got married, he read something at my wedding, and we're that wow, close. And we dude. didn't know each other prior to this whole, no. whole project. I mean, he's like, And it's because you, ju you jump in the, in the trenches with that person, and you trust them completely. And you, you, like, all the, you know, all obstacles are torn down, and you're like, all right, all right, let's go to work. And... There's something just like, I, I don't know, there's something just really wonderful about that there, there was something else about the movie that was so beautiful. You, the cooking analogy comes back to me. You lightly spiced this with Wilmer, with uh, Andrew McCarthy. McCarthy. Yeah. Uh, small roles, perfectly fit. And I, the casting couldn't be better in my opinion either. But it just, uh, it was beautiful how you were able to take these great actors and give them just these pieces that gave a little enhancement to the movie that really moved it along. Do you, do you feel that, Michael, for what happened with these 
with all these little pieces in there? Some of my, my, my favorite moments in the movie are are from those guys that you just mentioned, and like and and like all the other like Ariel and and I mean just really all the actors uh, across the board. I think. You know, you made incredible casting decisions in this movie. Um, <laughs> was it luck a lot, or did you? Were you just? Are you just amazing? <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I, I feel like I, I do very little actual auditioning. I, you know, maybe because I I am an actor, so I've worked on projects with other people. Yeah, different just, eye. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. see I just see people. And I, I know something that they would just kill it. Like I knew Will, like Wilmer, yeah, would just would just kill that role. And he was so, so, so that funny. Too. Or Jay, Jason Ritter, like. He's, you know, fantastic and he opens at the beginning. The whole movie with that, and, oh. and, and he just, he just, he, oh. made, he puts the statement out there. You know, it's like he says that right off the, off the bat in the street, like, like if you want to be a man, you got to play the music of men, bro. I like, did. Okay, I got, I got, I got to tell you really quick. We watched it on a television set twice, and then watched it in the theater. You got to experience this on the theater because there's little things like he did. I didn't even notice when in the two times I watched before where he said, he, "You're not gonna. I'm worried about you killing yourself." Or something. <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love it. I love him when I love him when Ritter has so many like he has that one so like you know funny, two scenes man. or whatever he does. Oh, he does so many little things that I think are so hilarious throughout this whole movie. And everyone was like that. And the, and the bottom line Absolutely. is like they come, they put their ego out, and they just like they go to work and like they they just bring their like best side to it. And a lot of it stems from, you know, it's it's really hard to be an actor and a director. Like like in that process, like all the way. Yeah, as a yeah. director, you're getting, yeah. you know, people asking you a thousand questions every five seconds about what they should, like, you're just getting a b constant barrage. So to be able to step out of that barrage and into the role of director, I mean, into the role of actor, um, it, it takes it takes a lot of focus. And then to be captain of the ship and like, and like you know, and, and go at it with, with uh, so much love and so much passion amidst all the chaos, it's, um, there's a it's lot actually of support, what, man. I mean, it, it, it takes it a lot of support. From that, it comes and a from lot that place. Of, uh, I mean, grace. we had we had a, a a scene, a day that was like it was such a hard day, and the and the, and the crew had been working like 14-hour days, you know, where they're getting probably getting paid for 12, and, yeah. you know, like 12 12 <laughs> hours, and they're, and they're crappy days at a grocery yeah, store. Yeah, and they're they're working they're working their their ass off, and it was a really hard day, and we came back in early the next day, and everybody was exhausted, and it was just you know you were just beyond your peak. And it just happened to be the day that Wilmer and and Christopher McDonald were there, like the day we shot that that oh, scene. Oh God! And they were so funny and so fun, and like Chris McDonald, man, is just he's just such a wonderful <laughs> guy. He's like a big kid. We were just hanging out with him earlier. He came to the show. And, uh, was he was he there tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't yeah, notice yeah. it, man. Um, yeah, yeah, man. He's he's yeah, he was sitting with my pop so, tonight. So that so awesome. cool, man. And and Wilmer is like I mean, he's he's a really close friend of mine, and just like they just brought that fun onto the set. They had the whole crew laughing and it just True. turned the whole thing around. I came Everybody, on set the next day and I brought that shit down. He did. I mean, <laughs> yeah. crashing I'm back into the ground. Wipe that smile right <laughs> off your face. First of all, how do we, how do we, is there a website? Is there something, I mean, how, how do we find you guys? There's a website that you can go to. It's uh, brooklynbrothersmovie.com. Okay. Um, it's out in theaters right now. It's playing at the. So it's tonight in the theater. Yeah, dude. yeah. <laughs> Sun, Sundance Cinemas at, yeah. Uh, um, at Sunset and Crescent Heights in, in Los Angeles. It's playing in Seattle. It's playing in Portland right now. It's about to play in uh, Palm Springs. It uh, today, just today, it came out on VOD. But 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 watch it in the theater if you can. Okay, I'm you, just, you, yeah. really, I mean you, that's great if they can't, but they have to see it in the theater, dude, because it's a different experience. No, absolutely, it, it, it really is. And uh, and then and then most importantly, guys, is the the album is fantastic. Yeah, and man. don't be a sissy and buy just one song at a time. Just get the album because because <laughs> it's because it's like the dark side of the moon. You have to listen to the whole thing to understand it. And if you I play like it that. backwards, you hear stuff about you know you know. But it doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> baby toys, <laughs> baby toys, secret messages. <laughs> 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 tink, 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 tink. But actually, you guys are. Gonna gonna, um, play a couple songs for us. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm real excited about. So we're gonna set up. When we come back. back, you're gonna hear some amazing music from the guys from the movie The Brooklyn Brothers Beat the Best. We'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, The Brooklyn Brothers.
your fun Leave me hanging in a vacuum Nowhere, no one to love me Someday, someday I'll never come down Someday, someday I'll never come down So you can take it if you want to I know I've said goodbye But love's a liar if it needs to Hey lover, could you love this lie? Someday, someday I'll never come down Someday, someday I'll never come down I know you thought I couldn't live a life for you I know you thought I wouldn't live a life for you I'm thinking now I shouldn't live a life for you Reach out, reach out for me 
Cause you are not alone Oh, no, you are not alone No Just come back, come back, darling You see me standing, turning this wheel slowly To turn the tide, just reach out, reach out for me Cause you are not alone Whoa, no, you are not alone. No, in this wasteland, cause no one's left alive. If you're really looking close, I'm a thousand miles away. No one's listening to a heart so stripped and bound, so naked, broken, and bruised. I'm gonna hide it all. I just scratched my nose, it's so bad. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming yeah, in today. Pleasure, spend some brother. time with us. Oh, so basically, people are going to go to brooklynbrothersmovie.com to find out more about the movie. And how can they yes. find the album? Because they got to buy the whole album. iTunes, Brooklyn right. Brothers, the album. And you got to go there right now. As soon as you're watching this, just stop watching, put it on pause, go do that. For Ryan and Michael, I'm Steve Sam with the Hollywood Fastlane, and we are out of here. I'm going to play this.